Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing After Effects tutorial. Today, we're going to convert this static UI design into this amazing animation completely from scratch inside After Effects. Make sure to watch till the end because you'll learn lots of useful tips and tricks. And before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Open After Effects and make a new composition, call it Main Comp. Set its size to a 16 by 9 ratio, then press OK. So I have this UI PNG image, which I downloaded from Figma. You can easily get this from there or in the project file. Now, we need to mask out this text rectangles. Let's first apply the curves effect on it, just to make it more visible. Now select the rectangle tool and deselect the UI layer. Then set the fill to any color and stroke to zero. Now draw the rectangle like this, over the UI design, covering the part we want to isolate. Go under the rectangle's settings and adjust the size properly. Set the roundness to 20. Now delete the curves effect and duplicate the UI design layer. Then select the UI and the rectangle layer and pre-compose them. Call it Shape 1. Now go to the project panel and duplicate this Shape 1 composition two more times. Go under Shape 1 comp and change the UI Designs Track Matte to Alpha Matte using this option. Then go into Shape 2 Comp or change the position of the rectangle over this part of the UI, like this. Then update the Track Matte of this UI design. Now repeat the same process for the Shape 3 composition. Go back to the main comp and pre-compose the UI design layer as well. Now, using the rectangle tool, make a rectangle over this part of the UI design, then change the color of the rectangle to match the background. Now drag and drop these two comps into the main comp. We've now separated parts of the UI design into different compositions. Convert all layers into 3D, like this. Then, make a new camera with default values. Create a null layer, parent the camera to it, and convert the null to 3D2. Now make keyframes on scale, position, and X and Y rotation at the beginning of the null layer. Then go two seconds ahead. Set its X rotation to 30 degrees, Y rotation to 25 degrees, and scale to 80. Also, adjust the X position like this. Go another two seconds ahead and copy paste these keyframes. Again, go two seconds ahead and copy paste the first keyframes here. Now, easy ease all of these keyframes and adjust the graph like this. At this keyframe, set the Y rotation to 28 for continuous movement on the layers. Next, make a keyframe on the position of the shape layer 1. Go a few frames ahead and adjust its Z position like this. Then go a few frames further and copy paste the first keyframe here. Now copy all these keyframes and paste them onto the shape layer 2, like this. Repeat the same process for shape layer 3. Now select all these keyframes, easy ease them, and adjust the graph like this. Now 
and apply the drop shadow effect on shape layer 1. Make a keyframe on opacity and distance. Set both values to 0 at the beginning and direction to 200. Then go a few frames ahead. Set opacity to 45, distance to 100, and softness to 30%. Now copy and paste the first keyframes here. Easy ease them and adjust the graph like this. Now copy this effect and paste it on the other shape layers, like this. Apply Fastbox Blur on the UI Design layer. Make a keyframe on the blur radius. Go a few frames ahead and set its value to 4. Now at the 4 second mark, make another keyframe. And set the blur back to 0 at the 5 second mark. This is the result we'll get. Now duplicate the UI design layer, remove all effects from it, solo this layer, and apply the CC light sweep effect. Set the width to 400, sweep intensity to 0, edge intensity to 400, and edge thickness to 8. Change light reception to cut out and the light color to purple. Make a keyframe on direction at the beginning. Then go to the end and change the direction, like this. Now apply a glow effect on it. Next, we'll animate the dollar sign number. Select the text tool and type the number 0 point. Change its color to black. And use a font similar to the original number. For now, I'm using this font. Apply slider control on the text layer. Now make an expression on the source text by pressing Alt, then click on the stopwatch. Just paste this simple expression. You know, it's available in the description of this video. After adding the slider control, the expression will work fine. Make a keyframe on the slider. Go a few frames ahead and set its value to the original number. Then use the rectangle tool to make a rectangle over the UI design. Change its color to match the background. Place the number layer in position like this. After all adjustments, I've animated the rest of the text layers. And this is our final animation. You can use this UI animation technique in many different ways in your own projects. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing tutorials. You can get the project file by becoming a member on my Ko-fi page. Link is in the description. And follow me on Instagram for more tips and tricks. See you in the next tutorial.